Hey, what up guys? How are you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome back to another FIFA 07 Ultimate Team. We're going to create some more custom FIFA Ultimate Team cards again today. First off, if you guys are looking for any Ultimate Team coins, check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. Use my code LA5TY. That'll get you a 10% discount. Link is down below in the description. Now, of course, just before we start, I just have to say that FIFA 07 did not have Ultimate Team. So what we're going to actually do in this video is create cards based on the stats of players in FIFA 07 as if they had Ultimate Team cards these days so that would be pretty cool if you could smash a like on the video that would be absolutely great these videos take a little while to edit simply because it's all the photoshop work and all of that stuff so let's get on to the first card of today we've got christian vieri he is uh, actually known as a legend player on ultimate team these days he's got an 87 rated legend card but back in fifa 07 he would have only been an 84 rated card and when you look at the stats that he's got nothing really stands out as an incredible player like 77 pace well he's got more than that now He's only got 80 shooting and 80 physical, so literally he is worse in every single stat apart from like defending, um, which I'm, I'm not going to lie, I much prefer to use his legend card, uh, and I'm sure you guys would too as well. So let me know down below which of these two cards you would prefer to use. I'm pretty sure we all know it's going to be the legend one. Uh, but moving on to the second player of today's episode, we've got an, an actual legend. We've got uh, Andrea Pirlo, 84 rated card on FIFA 15 ultimate team uh, his pace is majorly declined but back in FIFA 07 he would have a card which looks like this oh my days ridiculous an 87 rated center mid card with 82 pace that is nearly 40 pace upgrade but you know from back in the day 92 dribbling so that's plus 10 on his current one he does only have a 71 shooting but that is down to i believe like his finishing or something like that uh and most of things like free kick accuracy and long shots are all pretty good 90 passing as well is actually less than what he's got these days um but he has the added bonus of having decent defending and physical back in the day as well so I'm sure you guys would prefer to use uh, the, the older one, the FIFA 07 version. We've then got Zlatan. Zlatan is known as one of the greatest cards on Ultimate Team of all time. This is what he looked like back in FIFA 07. Now, this is going to be a tough one because would you prefer to use a 90 rated Zlatan today? But he's got 91 shooting, which is amazing. But he's only got 4 star skills and 76 pace. Or would you prefer an 87 rated one with, you know, less shooting and all of that stuff. But he's got 82 pace and 5 star skills. Let me know down below what one you would prefer to use. I'm swaying more towards the 87 rated one because a 6 foot 5 Zlatan with 82 pace. That's going to be pretty tasty. And I reckon you can score just as many goals, if not more, just because he's more versatile. Uh, next up, we've got Kaka, someone that is a complete and utter uh, legend. He now plays for, of course, Orlando in the MLS. 81 rated card. But back in FIFA 07, he, you would have been looking at an 88 rated uh, Cam card who plays for AC Milan. If you guys didn't know, we're doing the Serie A today. I'm sure you can tell that. Uh, but we've got 88 rated Cam. Ridiculous stats. 89 pace, 91 dribbling, 86 shooting, 87 passing. Those are legend worthy stats. And um, oh, 89 pace Kaka. Can you even imagine it? It would be so fun to use because he's also like six foot one, I believe. So he's got a bit of presence about him. And to have tidy dribbling as well and great shooting and passing would be epic. And he'd probably pretty much be the perfect cam. Now, moving on to the second to last player of today. We've got another legend currently on FIFA 15. That is Hernan Crespo, 87 rated legend. What do you reckon he was rated in FIFA 07? Well, I'll tell you right now. He was actually a higher rating then than he is his current legend card. 88 rated Crespo has 84 pace, so not quite as much as his legend. But he's got better dribbling. He's got better shooting and better physical and all of that good stuff. So again, this would be an interesting one. Which one would you prefer to use? The pacier version of Hernan Crespo or the one which has got a more powerful shot and slightly better on the ball and all of that good stuff but 90 shooting on that card oh my god you're going to score some goals and it's going to be a lot of fun um, but we'll move on now to the last player of today someone who hasn't been around on FIFA since FIFA 13 and that is Adriano you can tell on his card right there he's put on a bit of weight bless him and he's only got 39 pace but back in the day on FIFA 07 this is the card this guy would have. Oh my god, how different is that? 89 rated Adriano played for Inter Milan. He had 85 pace, 86 dribbling, and 89 shooting, as well as 81 physical. This guy had the left foot of gods 
and was actually two ratings higher than Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So how times change, how this guy has dipped off in the past few years based on uh, and compared to how Ibra has risen and risen to the challenge and all of that is just phenomenal. And that was the last player of today. So if you have enjoyed this or you've said you've had any enjoyment at all, you know, you've learned a little bit of something from any of these players. And I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and leave a comment down below if you would prefer to see a league or a nation in the next episode. Maybe uh, you could uh, just list a couple of names of players that you would like to see. I know Ronaldinho has been said quite a lot and it's coming. Don't you worry. I'll show you Ronaldinho's card back in the day and you will absolutely love it. So uh, thank you so much for watching, boys. I will catch you next time. Peace.